what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A 15 year old black girl from Pontiac, Michigan was sentenced to juvenile detention by Judge Mary Ellen Brennan, whom I'll henceforth refer to as Judge Mary Felon, for not completing her schoolwork. That's it, fam. This bozo the clown, certified bozo the clown, sentenced a child to juvenile detention because she did not complete her schoolwork. Mind you, fam, that the girl has ADHD. She's been in detention for the past month. The judge says that she broke her probation. She violated probation. She was on probation for theft and assault. He says she hid her mother. So, she didn't do anything particularly egregious to violate her probation. Now, the judge said she sentenced her because she was a threat to her community. But the governor back in, I believe it was March, signed an executive order banning putting ch children in youth facilities for the time being, unless they were a threat to themselves or others. So she was in compliance according to the law. They put this child in prison for not doing her schoolwork online. How in the hell do they enforce that anyway? Do you know how many kids who are behind right now? Teachers everywhere are saying these kids are behind online, with their online studies. A lot of kids are finding it difficult to study online. They would rather a classroom setting. This is a kid who already has problems paying attention in a classroom setting. Now you're asking her to be attentive at home. This is a kid with ADHD. This judge needs to be investigated, prosecuted, disbarred. This is why you have this disproportionate amount of black people, black children in the system because you have these caring types who will just totally ignore the humanity when it comes to black children and they'll lock them up in a heartbeat, put a case on them in a heartbeat because they don't see our children as children. This is why when you walk into these courtrooms, you see all the black people, all the Mexican people, same thing in prison. So the dummies look at that and say, well, you know, 15% of the population commit 50% of the crimes. Put the shoe on the other foot and you get targeted. Let them target your community, your group, and see what happens. Because you're already committing a bunch of crimes, it might be 90% on your end. Yeah. This is why they're able to keep on doing the things that they do. These people got these positions of power, they got the authority, vested in them by the United States government. And they 
throw their weight around all day every day. This woman is a family judge. She did that to a 15-year-old girl. Can you imagine the other stuff she's done? She's presiding over family business. She's making decisions for people she don't give a damn about. She don't care nothing for. The irony here is, family, they put this girl in a juvenile facility that's this is a place where COVID-19 is high. It's that the risk is high in this, these type of facilities. So they put her in a juvenile facility. They incarcerate a 15 year old girl, but they're letting 50 year old men go home. They're letting men, grown men leave prison because it's too unsafe. So they're sending them home, but they send this baby to a detention center. How much sense does that make? Mary Felon, you are a despicable human being. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about?